I really, 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 really wanted to love Maxine, and here's why I didn't. For context, I am a huge fan of Ty West's Pearl and Dex. So I was absolutely ready to love Maxine. But first, the things that this film did well was, of course, the backdrop of Hollywood and Los Angeles in the 80s with all the glitz and the glam. The gore that we did see on screen was top tier. I absolutely love Kevin Bacon as the relentless PI. The outfits, the makeup, all of that top tier. But the storyline, in my opinion, was a little bit boring. We were watching this badass of a character, Maxine Minx, five years after the 1979 massacre. And I just felt like she was reacting to things in the film versus being the one that was acting. In Pearl, there were so many layers to her character. And we watched as isolation and seclusion played a huge part into shaping who she was. And in X, when she played Maxine, everything connected so well for both of the stories. And there was so much attention to detail. But in Maxine, it just, it felt all over the place, almost like a parody, alongside the masterpieces of the storytelling with Pearl and X. I felt like I was waiting for something to happen and it just never did. We watched as Maxine walked around Hollywood, practicing her lines for a movie that we also didn't really see much of. The support the supporting cast was also lackluster, which sucked because I really liked the people that she met when she was in Hollywood, and I wanted to see more of them. And considering the supporting cast in the previous films were fully developed and very engaging, the final act was just so silly, and it just didn't give me anything for that intense buildup. And I honestly thought her father was dead. So for him to be this villain behind everything was just, it just, I didn't like it. <laughs> and after I watched the movie, I had to sit and think about why there was a decision to make her follow the villain. And on top of that, to make him head of this like really weird religious cult group. I felt sympathy towards Maxine, which can be a good thing for some horror movies, but the character of Maxine Minx is determined and she's resilient. She's unwavering and she can hold her own, especially against her own father, whose words echoed throughout about X and Maxine. Kevin Bacon as a PI was wonderful, and I just loved every minute of him on the screen. I loved seeing the Psycho House because it's always fun, and I really liked Elizabeth Debicki's character. But in my opinion, Maxine Minx deserved better. 